are starting our chicken coop build. Our chickens are still in Nashville um, being looked after uh, by one of our friends down the road. We need to build a house here so we can bring them here. And we're just trying to figure out exactly where it's going. So here's our cat house and we're actually going to build the chicken coop sort of over here. We're just trying to figure out what direction to face it. Um, but the chicken coop and the cat house will be in the same fence area. And we are doing that just so our cats have a place to get away from the dogs and safely just, just feel like they have a safe spot. Um, but they will be able to easily get out and roam the property. What are you guys doing up there? Some of you may know that we have a, a community cat um, that we got in Nashville and he is here with us, but he's in a different, he's in this really big tent area. And if you know anything about community cat situations, um, basically you are providing a home for a feral cat and they, when you move them, they have to stay in their house for three weeks so that they know that this is their new home. We don't want any kitties running back to Nashville or trying to. so. That is why they're all in their homes uh, for two more weeks. Prepare for something new Whatever it was That held me back I'm sure it wasn't true Holding on Too long and unresolved Questions hold you down What could have been Alright, we have taken a lunch break And now Casey and I are splitting up For jobs She is digging a hole Because tomorrow we're supposed to be getting internet And we need to set a hole so that they can have something to put our internet on. I am doing some math so that we can, I can cut things for the chicken walls. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of measuring and cutting and then I'll start assembling the walls. It should be pretty simple. And by the, uh, by the time we stop working today, hopefully I'll have all four walls up and then we can work on the roof tomorrow. Whatever happened to me, happened for my highest good I read that in so many books, now it's almost understood I'm moving on and on On and on I'm moving on and on Satisfied with what I've got and still eager for more. The change that you've been looking for will come knock on your door. Oh. 
back at building the chicken coop today it has rained for about two days so it has been on hold but we have to get it finished today because we are planning on getting the chickens tomorrow from Nashville so today's it so we better get busy So we have been working on the roof. I don't have my tripod or else I would have shown you some of the process, but it's basically the same exact thing as our cat house. We just kind of extended the roof on either side so we can put some things on here that won't get rained on, like our, where we keep the food. So I have a few more things to put up here and then we will get those metal pieces up there. So Casey is about to put our flooring down. That's right. We have flooring for our chickens. This is something we did at our, at our other coop. Um, you just get like peel and stick vinyl tiles and it makes it so much easier to clean up the mess in here. And these cute tiles were just as inexpensive as the ugly ones. So yeah. why not? Yeah, we had some pretty ugly ones last time, which it didn't really matter, but we thought, why not? get some cute ones for this coop so she's about to be the tile layer all right it's the next morning um we tried to do as much as we could before it got dark yesterday um but we realized we just were not going to be able to finish it so uh we made the decision that we were not going to pick the chickens up because it was going to be raining all day today and we were like there's no time to finish it um because it's going to be raining well, it's not raining, it's just really windy. So we're gonna try to finish the coop where the chickens can be put in there and we can still get them today. So time to really get busy. Also, it's so windy that um, I'm using the jigsaw right now and the sawdust is just flying into my face because it's so windy. So we're putting on the safety goggles. Day three of chicken coop build. We have to go to Nashville today to get a few things from the basement because our old house, my parents' house that we rented, is going on the market this weekend. And there's a few things in the basement that if someone went down there, it would just look a little crazy. 